This is a second stimulus check update. Last night, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Mitch McConnell, and Kevin McCarthy, aka The Four Corners, met in person three times last night talking about the upcoming stimulus package just two days before the December 18th deadline. I'll give you the details of what came out of those stimulus meetings. And 100 progressives are saying that they will not vote for any stimulus package unless there are $2,000 stimulus checks attached to it. And pediatricians are now saying that children should participate in the COVID vaccine trials. I hope you're having a great day so far. Quick reminder, I'm giving out $200 checks to my subscribers to celebrate reaching 200,000 subscribers. I'll have details to that down in the description below. First, let's start with the big news. Finally, Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi met in person yesterday. This is the very first time that they've met in person since negotiations have started seven, eight months ago. This should have been happening since the beginning of negotiations, but it finally happened, and there's actually surprisingly good news that came out of it. So if you weren't aware, the top leaders in Congress, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer for the Democrats, and then Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, and House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy for the Republicans, they got in a room together. These four people are the two are the four most important people in Congress. They basically run the Democrats and Republicans in both the Senate and the House. So this was a big deal. They met at 4 p.m. yesterday, 7.30 p.m., and then again at 10 p.m., and they departed the meeting with an upbeat mood and quotes. I'll get to that in a minute, but first, there's some buildup that happened before the, mil the meeting that I need to tell you about. Two important pieces of news. Uh, first, 8 million Americans have fallen into poverty since the beginning of the summer. So in the past five months, 7.8 million Americans have fallen into poverty, and the rate of poverty has jumped to 11.7%, up 2.4% since June. So America, being the richest country in the world has millions of Americans suffering, right? This is more than enough evidence that we need more stimulus checks and we need more help for the American people that has been completely absent for the past seven months when Europe, Japan, many other countries have been helping out their citizens. So other big news is that there are a hundred progressives. So there's an ultimatum for stimulus checks. Uh, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said, if Congress needs to spend Christmas on the House floor, so be it. So this just came out yesterday before the big four corner meeting. So there is a campaign for $2,000 stimulus checks. 17 progressives uh, and Democrats are saying that there needs to be $2,000 stimulus checks in the next relief package or they will not vote for the next package. So this is the official a letter that came out a few days ago. It's addressed to uh, Nancy Pelosi, Kevin McCarthy, Mitch McConnell, and Chuck Schumer. And it's a public uh, letter basically saying that the PPP needs to be capped at 500,000 so that it just helps small businesses. But the most important part of this letter is saying that a relief package should include direct payments of at least $2,000 for all working individuals and families. So uh, Bernie Sanders and Josh Hawley, senators, uh, Republican and Democrat, have been promoting $1,200 stimulus checks. Now, even though this letter has 17 signatures from uh, Democrats in the House of Dem uh, Democrats from the House of Representatives, there are actually a hundred representatives in the House of Representatives that are for this cause. There are 435 representatives in the House of Representatives that will vote for the upcoming stimulus package. 100 of them have just said that they will not vote for any stimulus package unless it has stimulus checks of at least $2,000 included. So that's less than 25% of the votes for this stimulus package that are gone. So that's really important because this is a big move. Now they're leveraging their numbers and saying we need stimulus checks for the American people or there are no votes. Uh, so this is taking Bernie Sanders and Josh Hawley's approach to the next level. Next, uh, Senator Cortez tweeted last night saying, I will not vote for a COVID package that doesn't include survival payments and unemployment relief for the American people. It's a red line. It's also common sense. Sick and tired of Mitch McConnell and GOP playing games with people's lives for corporate handouts. It ends here. And this is the... Uh, the press 
uh, release of this Congressional Progressive Caucus, basically saying that 100 votes are not going to vote for the stimulus package unless stimulus checks are included. So this is really big news. Also, another big piece of news that happened yesterday is Mitch McConnell said, we are not leaving until something gets done. The stimulus deadline is December 18th, and many people have said in Congress that they're not leaving until a deal is done. More specifically, Mitch McConnell said, we're not leaving without a COVID package. No matter how long it takes, we'll be here. So he said that yesterday, Tuesday, before the 4 p.m. meeting with the Four Corners. Now, let's talk about the Four Corners meeting what happened in the four corner meeting so as I mentioned the four people who were involved with this meeting met for the first time in a basically forever since the negotiations happened. So basically at 4 p.m., the Four Corners met in Nancy Pelosi's office. Then they separated uh, at 5 p.m. to talk amongst themselves, Democrats with the Democrats, Republicans with the Republicans. They met again at 7.30 p.m. And then after the 7.30 p.m. meeting, they actually met again at 10 p.m., but these quotes came after the 7.30 p.m. meeting. So. Uh, Kevin McCarthy said, I think we're close. I think we've built a lot of trust. I think we're moving in the right direction. I think there's a possibility of getting it done. So we're finalizing out, see if it's possible. Then Mitch McConnell said, I'm optimistic we're going to be able to complete an understanding sometime soon. Everybody wants to get a final agreement as soon as possible. We all believe the country needs it. He also said, we're still talking to each other and I think there's an agreement that we're not going to leave here without the spending bill and the COVID package. So he said this, at seven uh, after the 7:30 meeting, going into another 10 p.m. meeting. Uh, just to remind you, the deadline is December 18th for the spending package to be passed, not just decided on, but passed. So today, Wednesday, the business day, meaning that they need to come up with the package today, vote on it today in the House, then the next day is the Senate, then the next day the President has to sign off on it. So it really is today that a bill needs to be passed or at least decided on before Friday. So even though Friday, December 18th is the deadline, it really is today. Uh, Chuck Schumer said, no comment, no comment, no comment. Keep trying, I'll just say it was a good meeting, that's all. After these three meetings in person and all these quotes, personally, I'm most optimistic now than I have ever been in the past. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. For these four people to meet in person, does this mean something? Does this mean we're going to have something pass by Friday. Uh, I think if this was just a stimulus bill alone, it, it might be delayed until months down the line. But considering that it has the spending bill for our entire country to be funded and avoid a government shutdown, I think it has to be done. There's a lot of urgency behind it. But let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Uh, in yesterday's video, Jerry Hansen commented, Democrats and Republicans are at fault. Neither sides of, the care, of them care about the American people. Uh, I agree with you. Yesterday's video, I asked who is at fault. Is it the Democrats or the Republicans, Nancy Pelosi or Mitch McConnell? Uh, it's all of them that are involved, I think, are at fault. The reason why is because they do not represent the same Democrats and the Republicans that civilians believe in the morals and principles. They run on a totally different game. They're running off of the haves and the have-nots. It has nothing to do with Republicans and Democrats. It's more about power games. Anyways, moving on to uh, COVID news. Yesterday, there was 201,000 uh, COVID cases in the U.S., in terms of vaccine news, now that the vaccines are starting to roll out among healthcare workers, I mentioned yesterday my wife is a nurse, and Thursday is when they're going to start administering the COVID vaccine to the healthcare workers, just first liners, people who are in touch with patients. Uh, but now the vaccine and marketing groups are going to have to start marketing and promoting the shots to the public. These shots won't be available publicly until early spring, still a few months away. They're still making more uh, vaccines vaccines. Uh, so we're, over the next few months, we're probably going to see a lot more promotion, advertising for the vaccines. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Are you for the vaccine or not for the vaccine? Now that we're going to have a mass vaccination campaign, uh, pediatricians are saying that they want kids to be a part of the COVID vaccine trials. 
let me know would you allow your kids to be part of these vaccine trials uh, I guess to see what results happen in kids so far out of uh, 30 40,000 test trials with the COVID vaccine in adults I guess it worked out now they want to test it on kids uh, but I'm, I'm really curious what do you think about kids taking uh, the vaccine and being involved in the trials uh, that is all the stimulus news I have for you today to cheer up your mood a little bit here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day oh guys I didn't see you there <laughs> hi guys this is Bella's tip of the day I want to tell you the one thing that you should do when you feel something when you feel something like happy or sad tell someone be exposed Show the whole world what you feel. Sorry, I was dreaming. <laughs> so, anyways, that was all I wanted to say for today. Bye. And if you want to keep the positive vibes going and get in a wealthier mindset, I highly recommend you click this video over here. It's on my Wise Vibes channel. I just published it this morning. It's about how to start from zero and become rich. Seven ways to do so. So becoming rich isn't just about working harder. It's about working smarter as well as the mindset behind the work that you make. So I recommend clicking this video to learn more about how to become rich. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching.